Hello YouTube, QB Comic Addict here with a haul video. Just stayed up to watch the Great Legends auction, and as always, very, very entertaining. Was able to pick up a few awesome books at a really great price. Always love watching him. Uh, this week I was able to track down God Country third printing number one. Uh, of course, when I went to put all of my stuff in Mylar, I realized I didn't have any more. I thought I had another 50 stack, so I had to order. So unfortunately, I don't have my Mylar. Got God Country number two. I mean, uh, three. Mm, still enjoyed the read. Still enjoying God Country. Picked up some Gwenpool. The Venomized variant. I saw a lot of people enjoyed it, and the more and more I looked at it, I enjoyed it. They were still there, so I picked them up. Picked up a J. Scott Campbell, Vampirella. Anytime I can pick up a J. Scott Campbell, for cover price, why not? Same thing with Red Sonia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Punisher. Just go, I think. One of the best characters he draws is Punisher. Well, not draws, but one of the best characters he's done so far is friggin' Punisher. Really, really beautiful. Another one of the Venomized covers. Totally Awesome Hulk, that was this week. Then I picked this up just because I've seen a lot of people showing it again. I was in there, I got my guy to sell it to me for, what, 350 I think it says 740 on there, but... Pretty much near man copy. All new Wolverine number one. Why not? Then I was in the mall and there's this giant, giant comic shop inside the mall. Didn't expect to find anything there, but I found, uh, well, not nothing, but basically nothing, I guess. Part of the Dark Crystal. I think that might be a variant, I'm not sure, but I like the cover. It's by uh, the person that does uh, Monstrous. Pretty beautiful cover. Jim Henson, how can you go wrong? Then I also got Planet of the Apes, the Green Lantern cover swipe. Uh, I've been really liking the cover swipes they've been doing from this. Uh, really, really nice. I paid, I think, $5 for it. Yeah, and it was buying the cash register. I was like, how much is that? He's like, she's like, $5. I was like, okay, why is it buying the cash register? <laughs> then I found both of these sitting there. I did not expect to find these in a big comic store like that just because I thought people would pick that. But, that girl number six still. First, uh, is it Nathan? Ethan? Penguin Sun, something Cobblepot. That's uh, Francis Manpole, I believe. Manpole. Really, really like the cover. That, those are my second and third copies now. If anyone does not have those, uh, especially you walking Jedi, if definitely thinking of you in this for some... Uh, then I went to my one of my local LCSs. My comic guy called me told me he had some stuff for me. Uh, he searched his pile of back issues and was able to pull out four fairly clean copies for me. New Mutants number one. I paid five for that. Really, really nice. 9.0 at least. I just saw this sell on Legends Auction Show for like it was 20 plus dollars, I was kind of surprised. Uh, this is my second issue of New Mutants number 14, First Magic, page 6. Real, real nice copy. Uh, my other copy is pretty clean too. This is at least an I know. Probably same condition just about as my other one. Maybe an 8.5. Then I also got New Mutants 100. Paid 10 for that. Also 9.0, 9.2, something like that. 
really like that cover. I believe that's the first X-Force, I want to say. I want to say X-Force. It's my final answer. <laughs> it's a nice cover. And then the one that I was really excited about. And uh, actually got my second copy tonight. <laughs> but this is my first copy of Nubians number 26. It is super, super crispy. It just looks like one time he was putting it in and quote the back corner. It's not the front corner, it's the back corner. Got a nice little ding on it. But besides that, display is super, super clean. Love that cover. The orange. Similar to uh, New Mutants 87, I believe. The cable first appearance. The orange just really, really pops. Bill Sienkiewicz, too. I mean, I'm not the biggest Bill Sienkiewicz fan when it comes to his newer variants, but he does have a certain flair, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Oh, love this. I was able to get this one in Mylar. Made sure to get that one. <laughs> then while I was in his store picking these up, I turn around, and this is sitting there. I mean, I think this is something. Pretty sure I've seen people show that. Green Lantern number 20. Uh, I thought I looked it up and it was like the first appearance of someone who was selling for not too, too much, maybe 20 bucks tops. Uh, but they were sitting there and I thought I saw people getting them. When I asked the guy about it, I got all of them. He had three copies. It's a nice wraparound cover too. I picked up three copies of that. And uh, I asked him about it. Is that like a reprint or something? Because I thought it's too old for him to have it on like the new shelf or something. He said, no, it must have slipped behind all these books and it hasn't been seen in like five, ten years. It was like a time capsule in like five years. It's like a time capsule. I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to buy them. Uh, I didn't pay the seven either. I paid five oh eight. So not bad. I thought, I'm not sure. Let me know if these are anything. I mean, if anyone wants one, definitely let me know because... I hardly knew what they were, if it weren't for just, like, remembering people showing them, I thought. And then, what else do I got? sign. I said, hey, give me a sign. <laughs> he sent me the sign. <laughs> Friggin' awesome. Definitely gonna hang up in my room somewhere. He also sent me some books and some beautiful, beautiful mylar. Big old Hulk. Looks like uh, Ramos and Delgado. Huh. Not sure. I'm not the biggest uh, variant fan outside of like the five to ten people that I collect. Civil War number two. Really nice cover. X23 and Logan going at it. I like this one. Daredevil Man Without Fear. It's a nice cover. Look at that yellow de Daredevil with the face standing on Matthew Murdock's grave. Badass. <coughs> Superwoman's 2. Or Superwoman 2. I think it's Superwoman's. Terry and Rachel Dodson. Love that. That was one of my favorites. Definitely a Terry and Rachel Dodson fan. Oh, look at that. That's nice. And then... Daytona number 1. <laughs> Come on. Pretty friggin' awesome. Didn't even think he was gonna send me this sign. He sent me all the books with it. Really, really cool guy. Thank you so much, Marvin. Then, last but not least, we got some eBay purchases. Picked that up for 20, I think, two bucks shipped. Delato. Really, really like this cover. 
excellent, excellent condition and whatnot. It's a brand friggin' new book, but 9698, and I love the, the red cover. Delato's <coughs> definitely one of my favorite Spider-Man artists. Just the way he does the eyes, I think. And then it looks like he paints it, so I mean, uh, just definitely one of the top, top, top Spider-Man artists ever, in my opinion. I mean, I love, I like the way he draws Spider-Man amongst the ranks of anyone. I mean, oh, look at that. Beautiful cover. Then I picked this up for, I believe, 20 bucks. Perfect, perfect shape. And I mean, Seeking the Mint <laughs> has a video where he just goes off on about this book and it's like, baby. <laughs> I believe he said something about taking him from behind and you could see why. Cat me. Jeez, Luis. Yeah. Show after Monero. Oh, fat, fat hips. That is just some sort of cover. Love that thing. And if it weren't for the community and things like that, I probably would have known this existed. But I love that fucking book. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One of my favorite show covers ever, that thing is. And it's after somebody else, I know, but still, that is... And I got all three of these from the same person for 60 bucks. Paid 15 for Spawn the Headless Variant. Shout out to my man SPT Killerwood. Showing some Spawn stuff. Look at me. Spawn fan. Boom. <laughs> I like the cover. Cool variant. 15 bucks. I was like, hell yes, I'll take that. Uh, this guy had these posted for more, but I've bought from him before, packaged them together, he always gives me good prices, I come back and back to this guy, uh, but yeah, $60 ship for these three things, 15, 15, Adam Hughes, Captain America variant, really, really like that cover, Captain America breaking out of the ice, check another Adam Hughes variant off. I want to say it was 1 in 50, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it was 1 in 50. And then this is something that I've wanted for a little while now. Somebody recently showed it off, and now I got my own. That's Spider-Man number one, Fiona Staples variant. I cannot wait to put that thing in my lard because it looks good in a poly bag. I'm sure I'm going to... Sure, I'm gonna love it more <laughs> in Mylar. That thing looks awesome. I I will really like the way she did that. Oh, love that cover. That's my haul for uh, last couple days now. Got some more stuff coming. Probably do a, a contest update like Monday. And. Uh, Probably gonna end my contest a little bit later. Make it something smart like Friday so I could just do the drunk Saturday. But uh, thanks everyone for watching and commenting and subscribing and all that good stuff. Catch you soon.